All right. Let's see. We got a mic working. Looks like we do. That's a good sign. Hopefully, there's not a lot of noise in it. Get set up here. Get ready to roll. Here we go. <laughs> I like this. This holds it up high enough that it's not like the bottom of my face and, or the top of my head. I can hold it a little closer too than with just holding on to the lens. I'm not seeing any butterflies or bees out here. Oh, yep, I do too. I see a couple of skippers right in here. Oh, yeah. A skipper, and I don't know what the other one is there. They're the only ones out, it looks like. Mary Kreitz Hannah Park here in Circleville, Ohio. I see some small butterflies out here. I'll try to get this thing turned around so you can see it a little better. Maybe we'll see them. Here he is right here. Oh, look, that's a real pretty one right here. Where did he go? He's in here somewhere. He's right in there somewhere. He's not very big, but he was really bright. Unlike me, I'm not too bright. Come on. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of skippers and little bees out here. No, they're kind of wiry. We were out here about a week ago and there were plenty of uh, monarchs and uh, black swallowtail butterflies. A, uh, what was it, strawberry clear wing moth? It's kind of a hummingbird moth. Yeah, snowberry. Snowberry moth. But here we got a lot of, a lot of skippers out here today. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. If I get too close, they fly away. Oh, there must be different ones. There must be some must be male and some must be female. And there's a ton of them for sure. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise on this mic. I'm trying out one of those uh, Hollyland mic setups. Lark uh, two-person deal. Well, I'm the only one wearing a mic, but we've got two if we need one. <laughs> Trying out the Sony A6700 with an 11 millimeter lens and a variable ND filter. We'll see how that works, too. I look a little bright sometimes. I try to wear a hat to keep this, the uh, sun off my face, but... Sometimes it don't work. Here's some more. Here's some more of those. What is that? That's a moth of some kind. Yeah, that's some kind of a moth. That's a little different, isn't it? Oh. I'm not seeing our, what was it again? Greenberry? Snowberry. Snowberry. <laughs> it's 
Yeah, I remember everything. I got a mind like a steel trap. Oh, yeah. oh I see a, I see one over here, a white one. Oh, here's a monarch down here, Kelly. Really? Yeah, right here on the corner. Oh, wow. Hey, he's not all chewed up either. No, he's good. Look at this dude. Hopefully you're able to see him. Some of these things I ain't even seen before. That might be a cabbage white flying around in there. That white one. Man, look at the bee, all the bees all over these things. So I didn't get any video of it the last time, but when we were out here before, we saw a, I forget what kind of wasp it was, a blue wing something. I'll, I'll post a picture on it when we get back and I put this in a video but it was actually carrying off some kind of another uh, insect and eating it and from what I read they actually pick those other insects up and they'll carry them back to the nest but this one the insect was just about as big as the wasp was and it was hard for it to carry it so it was kind of fly a little bit and then land and then pick up and fly off again it was kind of neat Got several pictures of it, although it was kind of over here in the shade, in this little pavilion here. So it wasn't all that uh, awesome, but it was pretty neat to see. Like a, I thought, man, that moth's eating that, whatever it was. I can't remember what it was now, because, you know, I got a memory like a steel trap. Anyway, we like it out here. And generally there's a few birds out here too. There's some over here on the trail. Maybe we'll get to see some, uh, some birds over there. But generally out here we were seeing uh, goldfinch. There's like two or three goldfinch flying around out here. That's pretty neat. We got some pictures of them. But again, we kind of like it out here. It's kind of close to our house. It's easy to get to. And generally, we get some pretty good pictures here. I'll post a bunch of them with this video when we, when I get something put together when we get back. I'm really just kind of trying to test out this camera and lens combination and see if I can get the ND filter working right. I want to try to do a little vlogging here. And make sure this mic setup's working and that kind of stuff. And just see if we can uh, kind of put a little YouTube thing together. I like going out and taking pictures of all this stuff. But I've never really thought about doing video of it. So I'm going to try to start doing a little more video. And i got some other lenses and stuff too I want to try out. i got a 70 to, uh, or a uh, 24 to 70. And she uses the... Kimmy's using the 70 to 200. Ooh, here's our monarch butterfly again flying around. I got some slow motion of those flying around. 120 frames per second on this camera. I don't know how they're going to turn out, but they were pretty cool. But Kimmy takes pictures with the 70 to 200. And then I've got a a uh, 200 to 600 f5.6 lens that it's a little big for out here in my opinion but we'd like to take it down to another park on the old Erie Canal and take some pictures on the old Erie Canal I'm going to see how this does with the background stuff. I'm at f.1.8.
I like this little handle on this thing too. I'll make sure I put a picture of this on there. You don't, it's not something you have to hold hold up real high, and it's not something that you have to hold way out in front of your face. Like literally right now, I've got my elbow down, and I'm probably, I don't know, a little bit less than a foot, maybe a foot away, my face away from the camera. And this, this little handle's kind of nice. I like it. Sirui, S-I-R-U-I, it's a mini tripod that converts into like a little, almost like a selfie stick. This camera and lens is light enough that it doesn't get too uncomfortable on it. And I'm also checking out the stabilization on this uh, camera too. I'm not walking real fast around here, but here in a minute we'll head inside the trail and see how it does in a little bit of uh, kind of mixed light at first and then it'll probably get a little bit dark in there but we'll see how it does i might have to take the uh neutral density filter off actually i should should try to adjust it a little bit here and kind of see what it does to my face Ooh, that's too bright okay that might be too dark i don't know i don't know how you really tell I'm gonna leave it right there and see how that works. And then I'll just go through and repeat this whole thing again. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. But this actually looks a lot better, I think. A lot greener behind me here. Maybe some of these things will look a little better. I'm just gonna walk around this park here. A little butterfly park. Most of the butterflies are on the other side. We'll head over there. You can see their big monarch cutout over there. I think people can like stand behind it and get their picture taken and they'll look like a monarch butterfly. Trying to kind of stay out of my shadow here, too. Man, there's a bunch of those things, aren't there, Kim? Here's that cabbage white back in there. I got a picture of them. I don't know if it's going to turn out good. Oh, he's flying. Flittering, flying, and fluttering around. I don't know where the monarch... Oh, there's the monarch right there. This one. I'm not holding this thing very steady. I keep having to move it around in my hand. Oh, have you ever seen one like this? Have you, have you? Oh, no, he's a pretty one, though. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know, maybe an admiral? Is that what those are called? Is that the what did he have? Uh, no, he don't have orange wings on the back. I don't know. I've never seen so that one that I saw when we first walked up here. I think was an admiral, mm. called an admiral. But he, it had uh, like real bright orange and white and black spots on it. But I haven't seen it since. He's a little bit bigger than these, but not quite as big as the monarch. This monarch over here is. Really I want to see if I, how close I can get without making him run away. Hopefully he'll turn out pretty good. Monarchs, you can get kind of close to. Yeah, he's the only one. Closer than the stickers would be. Oh, here's our little buddy right here. If you know what that is, let us know. I'll probably look it up anyway, but... We'll figure it out. I think they're all pretty in their own way. A little windy here today. Okay.
There we go. Whoa. I had the screen turned around so I could see myself, but I couldn't see it or anything else when I aimed this away. I had to flip it back around. I'm not used to having a flippy screen, and usually on a a6000 it just just has one that kind of flips up a little bit now i've got one that will flip around all the way and turn in the whole nine yards kind of neat there's kimmy found the cabbage white hey good deal All right, well, I'm gonna quit recording for a few, take a break and drink a water. All right, kind of switch things up a little bit here. Put on the 24 to 70. And I don't have an ND filter for it, so I kind of jacked the f-stop up to eight and about 250. shutter speed. Might have turned up a little bit more. It looks like it's really bright. Let's see how this goes. That's 640. We'll try that. Probably needs to be on about 12, about 800. There's 800. That's probably, that looks a lot better. We'll see how this works. We might try zooming in on something. I might actually set this tripod down and walk away from it and see if it'll do human focus and keep me in the frame and all that cool stuff it's supposed to do. There we go. Now I don't see our monarch butterfly. He's around here somewhere, but there's the cabbage white down there. Maybe you can see it with this lens. Down in there. There, I put it on butterfly autofocus. Maybe that'll make a difference. Okay, let's go over here. Here's our monarch butterfly. Let's see if this gets some focus on his eyeball. Whoopee. There he is. What if I zoom in on it? There he is. Now I see the little focus thing on him. Kind of quiet out here. Oh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that was a goldfinch that just took off out of there from somewhere. So there, there's another one. I don't know if you could see that or not. Wish I would have been ready for him. I'm gonna jack us up to 70. 70 millimeters there. Now maybe I can find one of these. Uh, there's our cabbage white. I think that's what this was called over here. Maybe he'll get in the autofocus game here. There he is down there.
trying to touch the button there or touch the back out of focus. I don't I think I might have turned that off by accident. Some of these other ones just seem a little small. I'll back it out to 35 millimeter. Maybe one of these other butterflies will show up in here. I'm not using any picture profiles or anything like that. We'll stop it here for a few. Alright, now we're trying 4K. 60 frames per second. I am not very steady with this. There we go, how about 400? shutter speed. That looks a little less dark. Did I scare everything away? Here we go. Here's a couple of butterflies down here. There's one. Well, there was. Here's one over here. Let's see what we get with him. This is just a little one. Let's see if he... Yeah, oh yeah, he got picked up right there. Well... Wow. Being blown away. I'm going to take a break from this for a minute. Get a drink of water. All right, now I'm going to try this people follow thing. We'll see how this works. Does it look like it's following me? No, nah, I don't think I got it set right. But hopefully the mic's still working and you can hear me. Anyway, I'm back here a little ways. I guess I'm probably 15 feet away. I'm probably looking kind of crooked. Here's what I'll do. I'll tilt my body this way so I'll look straight. Now my tripod's kind of crooked actually, setting one leg of it setting in a hole. But it's holding up 24 to 70 lens on there, which is a little heavier lens, and it seems to be doing pretty good. Hopefully, you still see me. Let me see if I can turn the tracker thing on so it'll kind of zoom in on me and stuff when I'm moving back and forth. Okay. Well, 70 millimeters. I don't know if I got, I don't think I got this thing set up for where it's going to track me and keep track of me or not. I couldn't find it in the menu system. I'll have to get a little more familiar with it or figure it out next time. Just take a little time to 
set and figure it out. But anyway, this seems to look look okay. I can barely see myself in the camera. I can't really tell if it's focused on me or not, but it kind of looks like it is. But hopefully the mic's still working. Oh, I see that cabbage white over there again. I'm going to try to pick this thing up and see if I can get a, get a little movie of it here. I scared it off a while ago, it kind of flew off. Now I'm hoping it's back to stay. Now I gotta put it on, oh, you know what? I gotta put it back on butterfly mode. There, now we're back on butterfly focus mode. There he is. Oh yeah. I believe that's what's called a cabbage white. Well, there we go. He's kind of getting in there. Hopefully it's picking him up a little bit. But I'm not seeing the little eyeball focus box on him. Even when I touch it, it doesn't seem to be responding to my, where I'm touching. So I don't know how good this is going to turn out. We'll have to see when we get home. not tracking it. Tracking the flower. He's in there. Yeah, I think I just keep scaring him off. He probably see, oh, here's this one that I thought was an admiral before. I'm gonna see if I can fix this focus thing going here. It might take me a minute to get my crap together. Go into the menu and figure it out here. Oh, I gotta shut everything off to go into the menu. And try it again here. I don't think I got it set right. trying to change the focus points, touching it on the back here, and it just doesn't seem to respond to it. Just like picks out what it wants. I don't know why. I'll try another focus mode, see what happens. Eh, well, we'll see if I got it that time. Change a couple things, but I don't see anything happening really. Kind of a bust if it don't uh, focus where I want. Go back up to 800 here. 